So this is the restrap saddle back. This is the 8 litre version. Um, we we'll call it 8 litre because that's kind of the maximum capacity. You could probably get down to about 5 litres and it'll still work really nicely. Um, one of the really good things about this is how small it is. Uh, so it fits really well on small frames. This is quite big so you get a lot of clearance but you can see that the smaller the frame, the closer that the rear wheel comes. So this is perfect for if you've got a small frame bike. Actually if you don't need to carry that much, if you're an ultra racer you only bring, want to bring the minimum, then this is the option that you want to go for really. Uh, if you're going out for a long time, then we have the 14 litre, which aesthetically looks pretty similar. Um, obviously you can see it's a lot bigger. We reckon that you can get down to about 8 litres with this as well, so it doesn't have to be fully extended like that, but if you're going to be carrying less than that, then the, the smaller is probably the better option of the two. They actually fit onto the bike in pretty much the same way, uh, same attachment points, so we'll go back to the 8 litre to do that. It's just a little bit easier to handle. As with the bar bag, it's actually a holster system, so we've got a dry bag in there and as you can see the end of that is tapered, which just means that it sits into the bottom of the, uh, the holster really nicely and you get to use all of the space there and it really helps stop the bag waggling around as well when it's in the holster. So it's well worth using the, the restrap dry bag to do that. So attaching the holster to the, the bike, first thing is we've actually now got a double strap system. Got a high pull arm strap which has got a little bit of stretch and it's rubberized and is super grippy and again we've got this kind of soft feel attachment here which again is really grippy and that stops the bag swinging around too much once it's attached. What I tend to do is first of all though just loosely attach that so it's in place so you can actually do the rest of the attachment. First thing that we do is just got a buckle on either side, pass that under the seat rail and reattach and on the other side exactly the same thing. And the strapping here is actually rubberized as well which again just helps stop the sway. So there's nothing more annoying than riding along and your saddlebag just doing that the whole way. Right, so now that's in place we can go back to reattaching this to the seat post and it's really worth just pulling that through. We've got some foam there which really helps just keep things in place too. Pull that through and it's really worth yarding away on that a little bit to get it as tight as possible. And that is the holster pretty much in place. Let's pop the dry bag back in. And what I actually usually will do is almost put an empty dry bag in and stuff the dry bag just to make sure that you're filling that bottom end. Bring this through and we've got a fidlock attachment there and cinch that up and there's actually a little tidy for all this excess strap so you don't want that flapping around and you just clip that into place there. Some adjustment here just to snug everything up if needs be. And kind of as with all bike packing luggage really, what I'll tend to do is go for a quick ride once everything's fitted, bounce up and down and just retighten everything just to make sure everything is fully secure when you're actually setting up on your trip. But that is the saddlebag.